Hey, Hadley, what sound does a dog balloon animal make? Ruff. N no, it makes a squeaky noise. Wee, wee. Hey, our friends, today we're gonna draw a dog balloon animal. Mm -hmm. Are you excited? Yes. You think these things are really cute, don't you? Mm -hmm. And every single time we see a clown making one, I want one. You want one. <laughs> we hope you're gonna follow along with us. You have a marker, some paper, and something to color with. Color with. First thing we're gonna do is draw the nose, and this is where you blow up the balloon, the, the little part where you tie a knot. So we're gonna draw it. Watch this. We're gonna draw a sideways V, kind of a sideways U shape. Then right next to it, we're going to draw an oval like this. And then we can also draw a little line inside. <laughs> then we, let's add another little circle right here for the knot. <laughs> now we're going to draw the first part of the balloon animal, the dog. We're going to draw as his nose or his head. We're going to start right here. Watch this. We're going to draw a big oval that comes around and then back in. This is going to be so awesome. Then we can draw little wrinkles right here where the knot is tied. <laughs> now let's draw his ear. We're going to draw a line that comes straight up like this. We're going to draw both ears. Okay, and then we're going to first draw the front ear. We're going to draw a curve that comes around like this, comes back into his head. <laughs> Then we're going to draw the other side of his ear. We're going to draw another curve that comes around like this and then connects in. Okay. Now we're going to actually come down here. We're going to skip his neck first and we're going to draw his first leg. So right here, we're going to draw an oval shape. We're going to draw an oval that goes like this, diagonal, down. Is that cool? So yeah, we can start. We don't want to draw his neck too long or else he'd look like a giraffe. <laughs> and we could do a giraffe too, but let's draw an oval right about here so his neck's kind of short. Okay. My neck's going to be kind of long. Yeah, oval shaped, angled down. Now let's draw his neck. We're going to start right here and we're going to draw a curve that comes down and connects to that first leg. Yes, and then we're going to imagine it going behind the leg, coming up like this and connecting to his head. Oh, he's starting to look like a, a dog. <laughs> now let's draw his other front leg. We're gonna draw another curve that comes out like this, around, and then back in. Yeah! Now let's draw his body. We're gonna start right here, and we're gonna draw another oval that comes back like this, and then back <laughs> in. <laughs> he's looking so awesome. <laughs> This is maybe my new favorite lesson. Yeah, me too. <laughs> now we're going to draw his back legs. We're going to draw an oval that comes down and then back up. And we want this oval to be about the same size as his front leg. This is going to be his back leg. Draw it right there. Okay. And if we ever go too fast, what can our friends do? Pause the video. Yeah, you can always pause the video if you need extra time to finish the step. Are you copying me? No. <laughs> Now let's draw his back leg. We're going to draw another curve back here like this that comes up and connects to his body. My back legs are a little bit longer than the front legs. <laughs> he looks like he's jumping. Yes. Now we need to draw his tail. We're going to draw another oval that goes up and then back down. Perfect. Now at the very end, usually they leave a little part Sticking out like that, that's not blown up. <laughs> yeah, Alright, Hadley, we did it. We finished drawing our dog balloon animal and it looks really cool, except it's gonna look even better once we do what? Color it. Yeah, we need to color him. This part we're gonna fast forward, but at the end you guys can pause it to match the same color. Now really quick, before we fast forward the rest of our coloring, we want to make them look shiny, so we added little highlights on each of the sections of our balloon animal. Mm -hmm. So this part we're going to leave white, and we're going to color solid the rest of the shape. You ready to fast forward? Yes! Hadley, we did it! We finished coloring our dog balloon animals. They look so much better colored in. I love how shiny yours looks. That's what the little highlight does. It makes it look 
super shiny. Yeah. And that's where the light is shining on our balloon. I also added black colored pencil to add some shading to mine to make it look even more 3D, but you can leave that off to keep this lesson a little easier. Now, I love it. You could be super proud of your drawing. We hope you had a lot of fun drawing your balloon animal. Yes, we do. We hope you had a lot of fun. And we also want to challenge you after you're done with this lesson to try to draw a different balloon animal all by yourself. Yeah. Just draw those ovals to make up your own shapes. What balloon animal do you think you would draw next? A giraffe. A giraffe. <laughs> we'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye. Bye.